Hi, I'm Richard Stedman and I'm a testing and commissioning driver for Thames Thinking Great Northern. We're here at Moorgate and I'm going to show you how to do the start of mission procedure correctly. The whole procedure starts with keying on and the first thing to check is whether the train is enabled to run in level 2 or not. Your first, first port of call is looking at this left hand side. This dictates how you go forward. I can see that we're in level NTC and level 1 and 2 is inhibited. So we need to enable it. We'll enable it by going down to this button down here. It's an inhibit enable button. And you do this first. Now we can enter our driver ID. On the left hand side we can see that level 2 is enabled but we're still run, running in level NTC. We now need to tell the train that we want to run in level 2. We need to do it at this point before we do train data. Can now contact the last RBC. If this wasn't illuminated we could use enter RBC data and do a manual dial up to the radio block centre. So that's the first step in the start of mission if you need to enable your train to run in level 2. Let's see what happens if the train is already enabled. Let's join Richard on a different train after he's keyed on. I'm looking to see whether level 2 is enabled or inhibited. At the moment we can see that it's actually enabled. Inhibited would be level 1 and level 2 crossed out. Like I say, we're already enabled, so I can go straight to my driver ID. So, we need to go to level, and we can select level 2 because level 2 was enabled when we put our key on. OK, we've enabled level 2 operation on both our trains, so what happens next will be the same. Let's rejoin Richard as he's waiting for a connection to the RBC. We're now going to see the connection to the RBC, hopefully. There we are. Finally, we can do our train data. So the important thing is to enter the train data at the end of the start of mission procedure. Now we've done everything in the correct order, we're given, we're given start. We can press start. We're going to get this egg timer until the RBC sends out a movement authority to us. We've now got full supervision and a movement authority. Before you do make any train movements, please ensure that you have a movement authority and if we've got line side signals, that they correspond with the movement authority. So there you are, you've seen the correct way of completing your starter mission. If you don't do the starter mission correctly, you're going to have a lot of paperwork. You may have a risk of a trip incident as you go out because you may have forgotten to use the override. This causes delays for our customers, a lot of paperwork for you guys as drivers, and there's a lot of faff because you're going to have half a train in the platform, half the train out. So let's recap. First, key on. Then check whether your train is enabled to run in level 2. If it isn't, you'll need to enable it. Then you can enter your driver ID. Next, you need to tell the train you want to run in level 2. And once you get a connection to the RBC, you can finally do your train data. Then you can press start and wait for your movement authority. If you want to ask a particular question to the team, you can always email Ask ECTP at gtrailway.com and there's more info and videos on the ETCS SharePoint. Thanks for watching.